Hi, uh, this is a very, very quick guide on how to install SMX, which is a UI overhaul for Seven Days to Die. This won't take very long, and uh, if you bear with me, you'll have a much nicer looking HUD. I'll give you an example. Uh, I personally use, I think, this variant. Anyway, it's a very nice little overhaul. I'm going to be showing you the main menu and the UI. First and foremost, you're going to navigate here. This is where you can download it from, just Nexus Mods. You can also just Google SMX. You're going to go into the... Well, you don't need to worry about this stuff, simply because I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do. So you're going to download SMX HUD and SMX Main Menu, and the variant of the SMX HUD that you wanted. For example, I don't care for big bag conversions. Um, however, I do like the stat labels. And... Uh, that's it, the stat labels. So, do a manual download, don't worry about Mod Manager, fine. Alright, manual download. Beautiful. Just hit save. Um, doesn't really matter where you save it. You will need 7-zip, keep that in mind, to or a similar file opening extraction device. So, WinZip, 7-zip, anything else. Uh, even I think Windows has a built-in one now. Now that we've got those files, I'm just going to open up the containing folder. I really hope there's no porn here, but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I'm going to close that off. Open up Steam. Someone is going to fucking hoon past me like an asshole while I'm trying to make this. That's fun. Go in your Steam library. Go down to where you have 7 Days to Die installed. Right click. Properties. Local files. Browse local files. Here you are. This is your 7 Days install directory. You need to drag that off to the side of your screen and open up the downloads on the other side. I really hope there's no porn in here. Uh, Alright. Alright, good. You're now in your 7 days installation. Well, legit, all you're going to do is you're going to find the pro the, uh, the files we've just downloaded. I did duplicate these a little bit accidentally. I downloaded more than one. You can see just there. Not a big deal. Um, you find the HUD first and foremost. Use 7-zip or any other extractor like WinZip, etc. I'm just going to extract it to its folder. That's just a general habit I have. Uh, I'm going to do the same for the HUD icons. I'm going to do the same for the HUD stats. And we're going to do the same for the main menu. Now keep in mind, you don't need any of this. You could just be going with the basic HUD. All the bells and whistles are just optional. Beautiful. Here they are. And all you're going to do is grab these files and drag them across. If it asks you to replace files, hit yes. Just do that follow through with each one. Just go down your list. Just drag it across. And now the mods folder here will merge with the mods folder there, so you don't have to worry about that. You don't need to make a mods folder, it'll do it automatically if you just drag and drop. So don't don't sweat, it's actually really, really simple. It is the most basic drag and drop install, but some people they overthink it and sort of bugger themselves. Bada bing bada boom. That should be pretty much everything done. We're just going to close that and hit play. Now, a big indicator, the big bonus to installing the main menu as well, is that you don't really need to launch into a game to see if it worked, because your whole main menu looks different. It's very red, very uh, gritty. Okay, so the main menu is working. You can see down the bottom here, SMX Alpha 17 branch, yada yada yada. We're going to connect to a game now. So we know that SMX menu is working. Now we want to connect to a game to see if the other elements are working. Alright, you can see in the bottom left, also yeah, um, this is a work in progress in a survival playthrough. Uh, bottom left you can see there is uh, health and stamina, it's got little icons, inventory, I think it looks the same, I don't really think SMX changes the inventory, it just changes your main UI. So in the top left you have, a, you have your XP, the day, the time, uh, the temperature, and as your XP goes up, if I had a zombie around, I'd show you the little circle around the level there. Uh, if I just, here we go, uh, well, around this area, uh, will actually progress. When it's full, you level up. Uh, it doesn't change any of the other elements, really. It's not like a, it doesn't change any aspects of the game except the UI. It's purely cosmetic. So, uh, yeah. There you go. You've modded, uh, you've modded your seven days. You've got a nicer UI. It does look a bit more gritty, which is... Well, frankly why I like it. Like, even if you pull out some ammo, it's got like that black kind of... If I look at the sky, you can sort of see it. 
Gives it a bit of a gritty kind of nature. Anywho. Well done. Now, troubleshooting. I'm going to close out of seven days real quick. There are some issues that can occur with drag and drop installs. Sometimes shit just doesn't go where it's supposed to, that kind of thing. In the event that that is the case, get out of here. In the event that, that is the case, first step, just restart your game. Seven days, it's an alpha, it happens, it bugs out. So that's no big deal. Restart your game. Um, if you're launching an old world, try just starting up a new one really quickly just to make sure that it's not like a world corruption issue. Unlikely, but it, it, it happens. Um, so create a new world, load in. If everything's still not working, well, obviously there's another problem elsewhere. Uh, the second thing you can do if you're getting a bunch of console pop-ups, and I shit you not, this fixes so much. Right-click on seven days, properties, local files, verify integrity of game files. This button on Steam is your best friend if a game is bugging out. I mod a bunch of games, this button here will save you. So yeah, verify, let it go through its shit, then relaunch. In the event that that still isn't working, or you're having uh, another issue I've had in the past is false launch. So like you launch the game but nothing pops up and you have to go in the task manager. Press control, shift, escape. That'll open up task manager, at least on Windows 10. And just scroll down your list to seven days if you've had a false launch. A false launch. Click it, end the task. Also look for easy anti-cheat in this list because sometimes you can uh, end the task of seven days and easy anti-cheat will still be hiding there pretending it's seven days. That happens. Uh, other than that, if you do get stuck, I mean, it is just an easy drag and drop. Let me know in the comments and I'll help you out. And uh, otherwise, good job. You got a nice UI. Good shit. Um, if this was helpful, I tried to make it quick, but it ended up being a little bit longer for a drag and drop. Uh, the instructions could have literally been summarized to drop this shit in the folder, but here we are. Uh, if this was helpful, like, subscribe, um, that's it, yeah, uh, have a good day, have fun.